Warning, spoilers. Hey everyone, how's it going? Today, I'll be reviewing The Clone Saga, Volume 1. And uh, you're going to be a little surprised of what my reaction to this is. Now, this has four stories. The first one is Birth of Spider-Man, which shows us the origin of Ben Riley. Then we have um, The Lost Year, where we see what happened to Ben Riley after um, the last story. Then we have um, Power and Responsibility, where Ben Riley comes back to New York and confronts Peter. And then we have the final story, where um, Ben Riley um, starts, um, you know, his new superhero career as Scott Spider. Um, and each of the stories are really good. I have to say the best one, though, was The Lost Year, because um, the story was very good, you know. They took stuff very seriously. It's also the first appearance of um, of Kane, who is another Spider-Man clone, and actually is personally uh, my favorite um, out of them all. Um, the artwork is done by uh, John Romita Jr. And, um, you know, one, as I've said before in the New Ways to Die story, he does a really good job drawing Spider-Man and just drawing these, you know, characters in general. Um... You know, the, um, I ha will say, though, that I have to say the weakest one had to have been the one where Ben Riley, you know, first starts as, um, Scarlet Spider because, you know, it's just simply him going around as Scarlet Spider. Um, like, you know, yeah, we have stuff with Venom as well, um, which, by the way, um, I've been trying to track this back, but... Venom, for some reason, has been wanting to eat brains. Um, like, I kind of understood why he was doing that in Venom Hunger, when uh, Venom actually did eat brains, but in here, it's kind of weird that he keeps saying that. Um, we also got the appearance of uh, Scream, who is a um, symbiote offspring, uh, along with the others from the story, Lisa, Prote Lisa Protector. Um... The, um, this story in a whole, I gotta say, is, you know, okay. Like, um, I was really surprised that it was actually as good as, um, I thought. Like, I thought this was gonna be, you know, freaking awful. Like, you know, there was gonna be, like, only, like, one or two things about this thing I liked. But, um, you know, it was actually really good. I did end up reading the second and uh, third volume, which I'm not going to review, um, because those are, you know, the points where um, I had to be saying what everyone else has been saying about the Clone Saga. Um, but, you know, this was, you know, a pretty good story. Um, if you want to read about the Clone Saga, I'd have to recommend just, you know, picking up, um, you know, volume one. That's all I gotta say. I hope you like this video. Goodbye.